let's talk about terminology of basic shots. A basic hack is a shot that comes relatively horizontal to hit my opponent in the hip through rib and upper torso area. A basic horizontal chop. A slot shot comes relatively vertical, straight up and down. Anywhere from my opponent's shoulder line or chest down to their rib line and hip. And it's simply throwing my shot more vertically. The main thing to keep in mind here is that short hammer motion in and out. If they're holding a shield along that side of their body, I could still use a vertical shot, a slot shot, to come on the inside of what the gap is between their shield edge and their weapon. If we turn this way slightly, my vertical slot shot would come in to strike the arm inside or the hip or the shoulder on the inside of my opponent's body. A, low, uh, a leg shot is basically just a low hack. It's not very good to lead with or throw first because I'm putting more of my torso further open and towards my opponent. They have an easy shot on my arm or any of my upper body to respond and it's very easy for them to block. I usually wouldn't want to throw the shot straight off the bat. Similarly, it's nearly pointless for me to lead with a hack against a shield and a slot shot would more commonly be good to respond with, to be a reactive shot. If my opponent swings first, then I can push their weapon and throw a slot shot straight down on their arm, or push it and come straight down on their hip. Next up are cross shots. A cross shot is anything that comes from my weapon side, crosses the center of my body, or my opponent's body to get to their inside. So a short cross would simply be having my weapon at an angle, hacking it down and across towards the inside of my opponent's body. I would typically be aiming for the inside of their forearm, or if they're letting me see it and reach it, perhaps their shoulder or their hip. It's short and controlled and swung with that hammer-like motion where I can quickly recoil to be in guard against a, a shot they may throw back at me, like so. Next up would be a high cross. Generally a high cross is when the arm is lifted up so that a weapon tip can be tilted down as it reaches across the body. It's trying to get deeper into behind an arm, behind a hip, behind a shoulder blade. The risk of this shot is I'm lifting my guard away from a lot of exposed torso area. And it commonly sets up if my arm is moving forward to lurch for a cross, it looks very tempting to my opponent to do the same shot back to me. It can lead to a lot of simultaneous deaths. Next, let's talk about stabs. It's helpful with stabs to think about an imaginary rectangle around the edges of our torso again. This helps set up our alignment to stabbing in places where it's easiest to catch a firm resistance with a stab because there's soft points on the corners of that rectangle. There's little indentations by our hip sockets and by our armpit and shoulder sockets that are great places to catch a stab. If you put a stab into that shoulder pocket, you really get a push with some leverage back and it's not very comfortable to your enemy at all. Also, if they're advancing swinging, let's say my opponent throws a hack, I can actually stop the momentum of their strike by stabbing into that shoulder pocket or into that hip pocket that's coming forward towards me. I'm using my opponent's own momentum against them. Stabs also provide a good lead or feint. They're very safe to throw. It's the quickest way to get my weapon tip, point A, to my opponent's torso, point B, where I want to kill them. It's the quickest from A to B because it's a direct straight line. With a stab, it's just quick in and out. And from maximum range, it can also serve as a feint. If I stab to one side, my opponent's guard or block is going to come across. It's harder for them to block multiple stabs or a feint and then a real stab, such as pumping a stab, and then my weapon is immediately able to recoil and go for 
an opposite, uh, an opposite side of their torso box. Finally, we would have a counter swing. A counter swing is simply noticing that when my opponent tries to strike at me, it's the most advantageous time for me to swing back at them because they're automatically exposing some part of their body. It's generally extending from the edge of my opponent's shield. So if I were simply ready to throw a strike right along the vertical edge of my opponent's shield, I have a high probability of hitting something. So when my opponent swings, I'm ready to strike right on top of their arm. 